Good morning, everyone. So today is Friday, and I didn't film anything yesterday because I, as I said on Instagram, I've been working on creating my own introduction video for this channel. I did an introduction video on happy um, maybe already half a year ago I'm not sure so yeah <clears throat> it's time to do my own introduction <laughs> and I'm not really good at that because I don't want it to be all you know negative about medical stuff and diagnoses and you know chronic illness so yeah I have to do a pretty big amount of preparation for that so I'm working on that now it's not gonna be up this week or anything I don't know when it's gonna be up um, I actually find it really hard to talk about myself so <laughs> um, it's going to happen but I'm not sure when <laughs> um, right now we're in my kitchen um, when I usually did my makeup I did it in my bedroom but the mirror there um, faces um, away from the window, so all the good lighting that comes from the window um, basically fell on my back and not on my face. So as a little experiment, I kind of moved my makeup station right here to the kitchen. So I've got my mirror here and all my makeup stuff over there. And I have a really nice big window over there that gives me a lot of natural light. So I'm just gonna try out if that's more um, convenient for doing my makeup. And if so, I'm definitely um, gonna permanently move my makeup station here. this lighting I definitely do think that I'm gonna permanently move my makeup station here guess who just saved me from falling happy did Yay! so um just after I 
finished doing my makeup, she started acting up, wanting attention, wanting rubs, and normally that isn't weird, but now she hadn't even finished her breakfast yet. So to me that was weird, because she always finishes her breakfast first, doesn't she? Except for now. So I was like, what's wrong here? And then all of a sudden I started feeling really bad, like heart palpitations, I'm feeling dizzy, you know. You know that feeling that you just know you're looking pale? You know that all the blood kind of rushes out of your face and out of your head? You know what that happened? And for those of you who do know what POTS is, this may sound familiar. For those of you who don't know what POTS is, POTS is basically um, a heart condition where um, your body has a hard time, harder time to... Oh, girly, thank you. <laughs> As I was saying, your body has a harder time to push your blood um, to your brain. And due to gravity, your blood pools in your legs. So that's why I have my legs up right now. It's just in order to try and get um, my blood back to my brain so I don't faint. <laughs> you did good, didn't you, girl? You did really good. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Can I have a kiss? Kiss on my nose? Oh, lots of kisses. Mm, there goes my makeup. <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud of you. Your mom's already feeling better, isn't she? You know it. Yeah. So now we just cuddle. Which isn't a bad thing at all, is it? We love to cuddle. Are you just cuddling? You want to tell me something? You know what? Party is coming. He just called. He's actually he's on his way. Party is coming. He's bringing his mommy and his daddy. You like that? You like the party's coming? Oh, do you? Okay, that's great. That's great. I like it too. Yeah. <laughs> party. Come. Come. Oh, come. <laughs> One more. Bye bye. Bye, buddy. Good afternoon, guys. Today's Saturday, and today is going to be a horizontal day, as I like to call it. Because I slept really bad. Well, I was awake a lot and I dreamed a lot. Weird dreams, weirdest dreams ever. <laughs> um, so yeah, I pretty much feel like crap today. And Happy knows it, doesn't she? She senses it. Yeah, because she's the goodest girl, right? She's the absolute goodest girl. Yeah. Why are you staring at me? You're hypnotizing me. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm hypnotizing you right back. So I was planning on doing some training with Happy, but I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that. I definitely am not going to go to the supermarket like I planned, because I really don't have the energy for that. Maybe just, you know, watch videos and take a nap in the afternoon, and that's pretty much gonna be about it, I think. So yeah, those days happen too. It's not fun, but they happen, and you've just gotta roll with it. And Happy's doing the licking thing again. Why are you licking the air? Apparently nobody knew why she do why she did that because I asked in the previous vlog and I didn't get a reply. But I'm still curious. 
if anyone knows why Happy is licking air when she is sleepy or still half asleep and has to wake up or just generally is tired. Oh, there are the kisses. No, not my mascara, you crazy girl. Look at that long tongue. <laughs> so, I have to talk to you guys about something that I actually really don't want to talk about. Because it's hard. I just learned that my fellow EDS patient and friend, Belinda, died earlier this week due to complications of EDS. And it's hard. Mainly because even though she was sicker than I am, our situations were pretty similar. We both had the hypermobility EDS, um, nervous system problems, uh, internal problems, uh, stoma, we depended on feeding tube until she went on TPN. And she was only three years older than I am right now. It's not easy at all. And I'm not one to use these kind of words, but I'm just gonna say it right now. EDS really is a bitch. It, it kills you when you don't even notice it. Every single day, something else breaks down or you have to give up something from your life. And it goes so slowly that you don't even notice it at first. You have to acknowledge that even though when you're diagnosed, they say it's the mildest form of EDS, hypermobility type, but in spite of that, it can actually kill. And the fact that we were in pretty similar situations physically, that really scares me. It's like, where will I be in three years? And I, I know that I have good doctors, I have a good team around me that support me and that I can call at any given time. But still, It goes so slowly, the physical decline, you really have to be on top of it to prevent these things from getting worse. And I am not one to go to the doctor for every single pain. I usually just, you know, write it out and just assume that it'll pass. That happened with my bladder problems, happened with my nervous system problems, that happened with my malabsorption issues, my stomach problems, my intestinal problems. This just makes me realize that I have to be more on top of this. That I have to tell my doctors what's wrong with me, that I have to actually be my own advocate and get the help I need physically. It's extremely weird that she's gone. I'll miss her even though I didn't talk to her as much as I would like over the last few months. I will still really miss her. She was always ready to listen. She always had a piece of advice. She always had a smile or a kind word to say. She was really extraordinary. And I know everybody says that from people that have passed away, but she actually was. So I'm in a pretty weird, confused mood right now. And I have no idea how I'm gonna cope with this. So I have to think about that because obviously I have to cope. I have to process this. I have to, you know, give it a place inside my brain. It's pretty hard and weird scary, confusing. Just please don't underestimate HEDS. If you're a medical professional or if you're a patient, please don't underestimate it. Be on top of your health, on top of your patient's health to prevent things from getting 
worse than they could potentially be. Be your own advocate. Be proactive in your medical care. And don't dismiss a pain or a decline in your health as, you know, okay, it'll pass, it's nothing. Because maybe it is something and you have to be on top of that. Because like I said, medical professionals usually tell you when you're diagnosed that it's the mildest form of EDS and that it won't cause many problems apart from the joint issues. At least that's what I was told and what many other patients were told. So just watch yourself. Be careful of your body. Be careful of your friends, especially the sick ones around you. Because in a few years, they potentially couldn't be there anymore. So yeah, I'm sorry, this is a bit of a downer. <laughs> and I usually try to keep this channel as positive and upbeat as possible, but I really wanted to share this with you guys because it's really impacting me mentally and yeah, that's also part of my life right now. So I think I'm just going to listen to some music now or read a book or cuddle happy or all free. Just find a way to process this. Oh my lovely girl. Did you know I was feeling sad? Yeah, did you know? Did you know I was feeling sad? Did you come to help me? You always make me feel less sad. But when you're like this, this cuddly and cute, you make me actually feel happy, even though I'm sad. Did you know you can be happy and sad at the same time? I do. It's okay. It's okay to have an off day. So, I guess I'm gonna end the vlog here. I didn't film much today because, well, I told you what happened. And I didn't want you to see me crying all day and be sad and gloomy and grumpy and you know that but I didn't want you to sh see this <sighs> because she's such a good helpful girl isn't she such a great helpful girl and I love her so much I love you yes I do thank you girl so anyway this is it for today Thank you for watching. I'm sorry it wasn't as happy and upbeat as you're used to, but I guess reality has got to be shown. So, good night to everyone. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment, share, the whole shebang. And we will see you guys next Monday. Bye! Mm -hmm.